Hello and welcome to episode 56 of Ring Take Chair with Brian and Lewis here. As always, thank you guys for joining me. Um, we are getting into the thick of WrestleMania season as we're only, what, a week away, roughly, to the big H2 night extravaganza. Um, as this stop on Monday Night Raw takes a turn here and we finally get physical. Um, last week we were claiming how a lot of these feuds needed to get physical and something needed to happen, especially in our first segment where we have uh, The Rock taking out Cody Rhodes um, in an attitude throwback, beatdown, sort of. Um, taking out Cody Rhodes, the guy that's going to main event WrestleMania on night one and night two. Uh, Cody Rhodes came out early in the night making a passionate promo, as he always does, um, alluding to The Rock, the bloodline, and an assortment of other things. Um, that led to The Rock coming out which we thought we were going to get a back-and-forth promo, and we had nothing from The Rock besides a whisper. A uh, very spoken low, well, he whispered to Cody, and I joked that he said, I forgot my lines. <laughs> and that's why the segment ended early, but no, that was not the case. Um, later, it was revealed, he said, tonight I'm going to make you bleed, which is something that we usually don't hear in this day and age in WWE because of blood. Usually the ref stops the match, he puts the gloves on, they try to clean it up. Uh, even when you go back to old videos on WWE, they usually make it black and white so you don't see the blood. But in this instance, later in the night, after a match with uh, Jey Uso losing to Shinsuke Nakamura, Jey Uso and Solo Sokoa got involved, and that led to Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins coming out and basically evening the odds in the fight in a brawl, leading to Cody going backstage against Jimmy Solo. He's taking those guys on, and then out of nowhere, the final boss, the Brahma Bull, Bloodline boss, The Rock, takes out Cody Rhodes and starts attacking him, starts throwing him to everything, saying, hey, how you like that? This is what happens when you mess with me. And basically bringing out the belt that said Mama Rhodes, <laughs> which I thought was a nice touch on that, and basically just beating the hell out of Cody Rhodes in a throwback beatdown. Uh, what do you guys think about that whole development and The Rock finally getting physical? Mm-hmm. Right, Luz, you can go first on this, that you had a, uh, a certain <laughs> opinion on this. Um, yes, I was happy that The Rock finally did something. Um, <laughs> I feel like it's been a long time coming. Man, I shouldn't say a long time coming, but, you know, we haven't seen The Rock. I mean, besides his little, you know, usually when he comes back, he, you know, usually does the same thing, you know, talks to the crowd beats up the heel, you know, gives them the people's elbow and, you know, everyone's happy, but, um, you know, we're, we're in the heel rock era right now. And, um, yeah, I don't know the whole segment. I don't know this whole, like, I don't know. I don't know. It just feels different. This whole, like, I feel like it's been happening more with these little like comments and the people just like walk away and they're like, Oh, what did he say? Or what what it is. It's Mm -hmm. like, I don't know if you guys are just on purpose trying to be like mysterious or think it's giving the story depth. I don't know. You know, in the world of wrestling, everybody wants to know what the hell is going on. So that's just like just, it's a it's a it's a it's a lightning point because it's like yeah. everybody's going to be drawn to like, hey, what did he say? But there was like, people there were people slowing down the video instantly, saying, what did he say? And how did this go? And still, so it's it, like it, it, you guys are publicly feuding. For the world to see, and now you want to just be like, Yes, I understand it from that standpoint, and especially when we were getting all the talking points from these guys week to week to week, um, leading up to this beatdown. It's like, Okay, so like, we're not gonna get you guys interacting back and forth throughout the night, there's not gonna be anything here, yeah. Like, I understand it from that standpoint, what you're saying, mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. um, but like I was just saying, you know, kind of before it's like, it's like or I even mentioned in the chat, I'm like, as big as The Rock is, the way this man beat down Cody Rose, just like it's just, I don't know, maybe you know, he's rusty, you know, he hasn't done this in a while, you know, it's been uh, a, it's been quite a couple of years, um. You know, since the Rock has had like a backstage mess fight up the or vest, anything, <laughs> hey, maybe the he didn't want to get it dirty, but um, I don't know. It's just like you know, the Rock's the Rock's not a small man. You know, I feel like he could definitely do some damage to somebody. And just from what I saw, it was just very lackluster to me. 
Um, you know, obviously, definitely showing off heel characteristics. You know, the blood, talking about his mom. I think the belt was a nice touch, but it kind of dragged on a little too much for me. It's just like, dude, like you're you're just come trying to come off of this big imposing power, and it's like you're hitting them with like aluminum trash cans, you know, <laughs> like and like two punches. <laughs> You know, just throwing it into the into the bus, you know, and stuff. I, I'm not gonna lie. At one point, I thought he was actually gonna throw him over. Like I was just about to say, that. I, was gonna, like, I was gonna, I was gonna get into the they were, whatever parking lot they were on top of. Which I was like, okay, this might actually be some crazy, some like, crazy Ooh. shit or whatever. But okay. um, um, I don't know. I don't know if there's also like a just a shift c- coming now with the whole TKO thing. Are we? kind of stepping out of this whole PG era, you know, with Rock saying, like, this is what happened when you fuck with the boss. Obviously bleeped out, but, you know, the the crowd there, and, you know, we've seen people post online where they're like, hey, dude's going off, you know, he's Mm -hmm. swearing, he's saying, you know, obviously things that aren't allowed on TV, but it's like, is this slowly the direction that we're going into? Um, And then, obviously, the blood, you know, I, once again, you know, didn't show us anything <laughs> crazy that would make us think that, oh, he should be busted open or yeah, whatever. That's exactly what Cody did. Yeah. Exactly. You know, it was kind of a long pause. And I think for us <laughs> veteran <laughs> watchers of wrestling know how that goes, you know. but When you uh, see AEW every week and they're bleeding profusely. <laughs> yeah, they're, hard they're like, you know, throwing chairs and throw, going through tables and it, making it look like they're actually crashing into the ring post, you know, like, you know, it's a little more, I guess, believable <laughs> in my eyes, but just, I don't know. My only complaint was just like the, like for as big as the rock is, he should be like slamming them crazy into like, you know, things back and forth. It was just more like, he, he was just like a ping pong ball bounce. <laughs> bounce. Oh, hey, Mama Rhodes. Oh, look, he's bleeding. And that was like, that was it. You know, so I don't know. That was just my take on it. <laughs> physicality, physicality, physicality. That's all we have been asking for as the next steps in this in this feud. For the last like four weeks, it's pretty. Aside from the uh, slap from the respective slaps from both Cody and The Rock, it's pretty much just been a whole bunch of talking segments. It's been it's been Cody talking about fin- talking about finishing the story. It's been about the it's been about The Rock, you know, kind of um, throwing around his his authority now, uh, being on being the, on the board and talking about how about about how the bloodline is going to retain the title. So it's been a lot of a lot of talking. And it's got and it got to a point where we had to get some physicality sooner or later. If not this week, then on the go home shows next week. So, for just the purpose of physicality, this beat this this beat this beat down was def, was definitely a positive because it was it was well needed. Um, and like 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 Lewis during the, the beat down, I really actually did think that Rock was gonna throw throw Cody Rhodes over the over the <laughs> over the over the thing. Because, because, on, because, because, they, because they got they got close to the, no, they got close to the edge a couple of times yeah, where, where you really thought like psychologically with the direction the with the direction the company's going then they may they may do that but if as this far, was as far as, if this was if this was at the start of March I would have been like all right but we're two weeks out to WrestleMania <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the only thing <laughs> yeah but it, it, it could have been a scenario where like he killed him he killed him and then... <laughs> <laughs> but I think. See, see, Lewis. Oh, you, see, Lewis. You think? See, you Lewis. You, you think that it was a a, a lack a lackluster beatdown? I only I honestly think if it was lackluster, it was only because, like you said, you know, you know, he hasn't been physical like this since what? I, I can't even think of the last year that we saw Rock get physical. Maybe what WrestleMania thirty two, maybe, uh, or maybe or maybe after that, a couple maybe, maybe a couple of sh- the Jinder Mahal sh- when, uh, yeah, the Jinder Mahal all on Raw. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, so oh, yes, yeah, so obviously, but, but it's been few. It's been few and far between. So. You know, so maybe yeah. So his timing maybe is, uh, is off, or maybe he was trying to trying to pro- trying to protect him, but still make it look vicious at the same time. I mean, I mean, it was click. I mean, it was pretty obvious that Cody did Cody did blade his forehead because they did cut away from cut away from him for like a good like 10, 15 seconds. When Rock was talking shit to the camera, next thing you know, Cody's bleeding. I'm like, okay, mm-hmm. uh, I mean, but it the the beatdown it was what it was, but it was but it was well needed, and I mm-hmm. feel. That the that the beatdown was so significant to the point that I think people want to see Cody and Rock more than they want to see Cody and Roman now. 
Mm-mm. Because 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 the beatdown was beatdown was was so significant. But other but other that's the only that's the only negative that I take from that I take from it. Just that because it was what it was. Now people want to see those two instead of instead of Cody finishing his story per se. And, th- um, and this is this is the thing I've been saying. It's like the Rock is literally overshadowing. <laughs> It's literally Iron Man. Roman Reigns reign <laughs> right now. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's just like, you know, you have the biggest star with the longest title reign in modern history, and it's just like Rock comes in and just has been hogging the spotlight, you mm-hmm. know? So, you know, you would think the physicality would be more Rock, Ro- I mean, um, Cody Roman and them kind of, you know, getting each other's faces and, you know, getting pulled apart or going at it, but it's literally it would have, by Cody. The, this is my this is my thoughts on it. I thought the rain added to the effects of it. I thought that was a nice touch. If you saw any photos or still shots from it, that was dope. I thought the rain outside was dope. I thought that was a nice uh, uh, natural addition to that beatdown. So I'm like, okay, that's something that we haven't really seen before in wrestling. Where it's raining outside, these these guys are brawling and stuff like that. I felt like it would have been better if Cody would have got some shots back in and they were going back and forth, and then The yeah. Rock took over. Um, I also joked that The Rock's pants were too tight, and that's why he was just kind of just <laughs> godzilla uh godzilla like the in the tux. He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I know. I know. When he was doing that little people's kick when he shakes his leg, I'm like, yo, hold up. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Moved his, his pants are too tight. His pants are too tight. You might want to go back to the swishy, the swishy pants, Rock, the corporate Rock. You might want to go back to that. But, um, the beatdown, as I feel kind of like what Lewis was saying, was kind of lackluster a little bit just because the beatdowns that we've seen in the past and seen guys really get taken out. <laughs> and now we get this, and it's kind of like we understand, as you guys were saying, as Lewis was saying, that The Rock towers over Cody Rhodes. And it's like, okay, he looks like Kane next to Cody Rhodes. He looks huge, <laughs> right? So you're expecting a little bit more damage, and, yeah, he threw him into the barricade and the the the, 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 the media boxes behind uh, out back threw him into the concrete wall and the bus. It's like, okay, this should be feeling a little bit more effective than it actually is. Um, but as you guys, as you guys were saying that how this is kind of out of overshadowing Roman Reigns title match. And I felt like in my head, when you just said that, I'm like, at least it would have been better if him and Roman were beating up Cody, because then you would have just had those guys just teeing off. It would have yeah. been better uh, promo for the camera, and then they would have been like, "Hey, see what we do." And just yeah. kind of like, "Hey, we're a, we're we're a unit, <laughs> right?" Even though though, because we didn't even see Jimmy and Solo after the Rock came in. Like, where were they? <laughs> like, they all should have been ganging up on Cody Rhodes, showing the odds. And I felt like that was a missing production. I don't know what if Roman couldn't make it or whatever it was, but I just felt like that was a misstep. We understand who the Rock is. Like, we didn't need him to be singled out again. But ultimately, in the overall aspect of things, this was needed. Like, this was needed. And that's what we've been talking about since last week. Hey, this needs to get physical at some point in order to be effective. This has to be physical because we're not getting a lot of interactions besides promos, and that's good. But the things that, when you look at past brawls and promos and stuff like that, of WrestleMania past, you go back to Austin and Shawn Michaels, the the, <laughs> the beatdowns that they went back and forth with, uh the Rock in Austin, uh, shit, John Cena, JBL, like all these guys had interactions beefing with each other leading up to the event. And I thought that was something that was missing, and we got it. And for whatever we, me and Lewis thought it was, or a couple other people thought it was, it was effective. Like they got what they want. The promo package is going to look in- <laughs> incredible night one at WrestleMania when they're showing The Rock beating the hell out of Cody Rhodes. It's going to look impressive. Yeah. <laughs> Anything that, any concerns we have is going to be wiped away in that third, that, that, Two, two and a half minute promo before the match. <laughs> yeah. Be I think I'm just, I'm really hoping that these go home shows before WrestleMania, like <clears throat> they just let these guys go all out. Like, I want to see brawl after brawl after brawl. Like, I want to see security or announcers coming out trying to separate them like that. I feel like that has always been the most effective and like all oh, these guys hate each other. Like, whenever we saw like people non-stop going after each other before pay-per-views it was like you know you hear michael Cole like all oh, these two hate each other uh, like you know like you feel the rivalry but it's like literally two weeks before mania you know we're finally getting something 
And it's just like, it's been a lot of talking. It's been a kind, kind of on, like I said, like more UFC style where it's just like, you know, I'm going to talk my talk and then, you know, I'll see you in the ring, which essentially that's what WWE's always done. But they've also let people like bad blood build and, you know, oh, look, he, he took out his leg or he took out his this or his ankle, blah, 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 you know, injury, whatever. But it's like, we're just finally now getting this stuff. And it, I don't know, it's just... It, like like you guys said, it was needed, but you, you know, from what The Rock showed us, it was a peak beat down to me. <laughs> okay. okay, so okay, so question: So, what would have needed to happen in, in order in order for that in order for that whole segment to have been been satisfying for the both of you? You know, it's funny as you were talking about it, like briefly. You know, when like Solo took out AJ Styles, I felt like yeah. how simple of a beat down that was was effective and it, i mean obviously the rock's not going to be jumping off like some <laughs> hey you might be a rookie again. Like, might be a rookie again. Boss, you know? i mean he could have did a rock yeah. shit. no exactly but even if he would have grabbed a chair or something you know throwing him through a table whatever so he didn't like the trash like, can yeah you didn't like the I mean, trash can in the toolbox come on he didn't like that if <laughs> I mean, I mean, it was. It was I, a thought, I mean, it was a headshot. <laughs> I thought he was going to wow. take out a screwdriver and dat Cody Rhodes, and that's how he was going to get him to bleed. <laughs> when hey, I saw the like, toolbox, I thought he was going to. Why we need Yoda? You're right, or like, something. <laughs> and no, nope, even nope, if he would have grabbed the, the hammer and just been like, <laughs> all, all, these, all these tools in these toolbox that I'm trying to hit you with. Nope, I'm not going to use any of that. <laughs> so I think that's what it was. And again, I, as I alluded to it, I think if it was more of the bloodline as a unit taking out Cody Rhodes yeah. and having that visual in the rain with Roman Reigns there as well would have added to it because yeah. Cody Rhodes is not just facing the rock. He's facing Roman Reigns as well. So I felt like that would have been a dope visual to have those guys just beating him up, teeing off, taking yeah. turns, going back and forth to the camera. Like this is what we do. This is bloodline business. And just really hammering yeah. that point home. Like, Hey, we take out all you guys. It doesn't matter. And now we're taking out the guy that's supposed to beat me. That should have been more of a, vocal point and it wasn't there roman wasn't there so i think that was the missed opportunity there yeah if it was like a cohesive like beat down like you got jimmy holding them you got the rock you know throwing hits and blah blah blah. somebody again or even in that sense you take the trash can and just like bashing it over about somebody's like restraining him or like i feel like it you know kind of like this is the bloodline this is what we do and you know it just i don't know from what every hit that the rock or push that he threw him into the wall was so devastating that Cody couldn't do anything. It was just like, come on guys. <laughs> it's not throwing him in like some huge velocity that he can't get up from that, you know? So. Yeah. I, I just felt like that was just a missed opportunity. I felt like there was something there that was needed we got what we wanted, right? Like that was the needed thing. Like we needed the physicality to happen, but it was just like the delivery was bad. <laughs> That's my only thing. Like the delivery wasn't there. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna continue. Yeah, go ahead, Brian. No, no, no. no I was, I, I was just gonna, I was just gonna just to just re reiterate the fact that, like, yeah, it's it's been a minute. It's been a minute for the Rock <laughs> as far as <laughs> you know, it goes. I, I honestly think he was probably he probably was thinking about, about being more protective and less and, and less mm -hmm. aggressive. <laughs> that's probably what that's probably why it came off that way. Man's, Man's a movie star. This guy. <laughs> Man's a movie star. He works in action scenes all the time. You tell me he can't do a beat down backstage segment. <laughs> the rock, the rock, the rock, the rock held the helicopter with a chain, okay? The rock moved the missile, right? <laughs> Man is on he ice flexed and his cast broke off. He broke off. No, that was the most ridiculous one. Oh my god. That's why I st that's when I stopped watching fast. I was like, I don't watch this, movie Yo, this, dude this dude's been in the hospital the entire movie, and now all of a sudden, the, now now that the attack is neck is literally around the corner from him. Now all of a sudden, he's good to fight. Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> divine intervention, man. Those moments. That's what that's what creates heroes. Okay, Brian. Those moments, <laughs> and hopefully, this moment creates a hero in Cody Rhodes. <laughs> um, but we could continue on with another segment. Uh, 